video blog. I have not done one of these on my regular camera in forever. Ah, uh, man, where do I start? Where do I start? So much going on. So many things I can't talk about right now. I got stuff going on in my life that's kind of personal. Stuff that I just, I don't feel comfortable talking about. And I've got reasons, you know, eventually. I will. Hold on. I love this song. Safety Death. And if they don't dance with us, no friends of mine. You can dance if you want to. We can leave. I love the Safety Dance song. Anyway, Jamie told me the other day, she goes, you've changed. You've become somebody else. I'm spitting stuff up. you become somebody else. And I don't like that person. And I'm like, I, you know, I just kind of blew her off like she's full of shit. Then I got to really thinking about things. And I'm like, I really have. She goes, you used to do more for people. You used to care more about other people. And you used to, you know, try to help people. And I'm like, you know, I have gotten away from that. There's just so much going on in my life. And my health even has been shitty. I mean, I mean, things hurt. I mean, you wouldn't believe how god-awful painful it is sometimes to just walk. And that's affecting my life. I can't go to concerts like I used to. I used to go to concerts all the time, at like bars and stuff, where you'd have to stand up. And, you know, you know, the whole country, you damn near stand up. Because it's like, you know, a stand-up place. It's not like they got seats and stuff. But I can't do that with a bum leg and foot, you know? I mean, I'm just now getting to where my, my foot don't hurt no more. But my knee is beyond believable how much it hurts you know and I've kind of gotten away from social sites altogether I, I'm hardly ever on them yeah I update them here and there but I'm not really on it I don't read a lot about what everybody else is doing uh, I don't respond to the stuff they are putting on there it's like I just disappeared almost and part of it is I get so annoyed man because so many people are like oh sing this song oh sing this song oh sing this song and they act like they're my buddies and stuff. And then I sing a song for them, and then I try to talk to them after that. Nothing. Nothing. I mean, they just wanted me to sing a song. They act like we was cool. I sing the song, and then they're done with me. They got what they wanted. So stupid. Another thing is, uh, you know what? I can remember when I first started doing this, and there was so much hype. And I had so many people emailing me and calling me and all this stuff. And... You know, I had Taylor calling me, Taylor Swift calling me. You know, I was meeting people like James Otto, and yeah, you know, I had people like Jason Michael Carroll calling me up, wanting to do interviews on the radio with me. And I had, uh, you know, talking to the guys from Rascal Flats calling me on the phone. All this hype, man. It was like, it was surreal. You know, I almost felt like I was somebody. I felt special, kind of. And that's kind of all disappeared, and it's it's kind of a letdown. I don't like being normal. I like being somebody that's important, somebody that matters. That really makes a difference, man. That little bitty, little bit of fame, uh, infamy, uh, man, that's addicting. And when you don't have it, you don't have it. It's such a letdown. It's it's like someone took a drug away from you, and I miss it, man. I want to get back into it, but it's just hard with everything going on. I just I feel like, you know, I, I don't do the charity work as much as I used to. I, I feel like a failure almost, and I'm not saying that I am. I mean, you know, I, I try to do the dieting and stuff, and I was doing so good. And then it kind of all went downhill when I, when I tore everything up with my foot. I couldn't hardly walk, couldn't move. I got doctors telling me, stay off your foot. I don't care. Don't walk around. Don't stand. Don't do nothing. Stay off your foot. Stay off your knee. You know, go, you know, but I mean, what, am I supposed to exercise and lose weight or not? I mean, pick one. Which one is it? You know, it's impossible to stay off your feet. It's impossible. But they like, well, there's nothing else we can do for it. I, I don't know what to do. I get confused. You know, I got a lot of people that I would consider friends on here, online, and everything. The problem of it is, not very many of them live around me. You know, there's Vana who lives near me. Well, she was gone for a while. 
but now she's back, thank God. And then there's Josie, you know? And Josie, she works too damn much and then got her kid and her boyfriend. It's just hard for her to, you know, you know, help me out when I need something. You know, like someone to talk to, but and I know I could there's so many of you I could call and talk to because you've all offered. But I'm not that kind of person. I am not the guy who calls and says, hey man, I need a friend to talk to. I need someone to talk to. I need to unload on somebody because I see that as a weakness. I'm not saying if you do it, you're weak. I'm just saying I feel weak if I do that. You know, I feel like I shouldn't have to rely on other people to make me feel better. That's something I should figure out on my own, but I'm starting to realize that's not just something I can do on my own. You know? And people, they just piss me off all the time. I cannot explain how cynical I am about people. But you know what? Some things just anger me beyond belief. You know, like when people use... You know what? I'm going to say that. I'm gonna say, that'll be a different vlog. Just, uh, but, you know, I, I just... Sometimes I see people doing stuff, and I'm like, oh my god, why are you alive? I mean, that's horrible. That's the way I've been feeling lately. I'm just so angry at the world. I'm oh, sorry, just make sure the battery went dead. Make sure it was still recording. I had a couple minutes for this thing to get to the 10 minute mark. I haven't done a long vlog in a while. I don't know, I'm just kind of rambling, but I'm just trying to keep it real, you know? And then, you know, then there's Shannon. Or Elise, who is one of my better friends. Uh, I talk to her about a lot of things. There's some things I don't talk to her about, but most, uh, most anything I can talk to her about. And sometimes my, <laughs> I'm probably too honest with her. You know, you know. I sometimes I say things, and she's like, probably like, wow, did he really just say that? Well, yeah, I do because that's what I do. I say things without thinking. That's what I do. So. Like the other day, we were talking about women in relationships, you know, and she's like, oh, I really want a nice, honest, trustworthy guy. And I'm like, good luck with that, because that shit ain't going to happen, you know. And you know what? It's part of the guy's fault, part of the girl's fault, because here's, here's, here's my theory. You know what? And here's one thing. People don't date no more. They just don't date. You know why? Because... Girls nowadays are becoming into their own, and there's, you know, sex is more common. And here's the thing: that girl meets guy at a bar, they get drunk, they have sex. Next thing you know, they're having sex again. They're having sex again at a bar. They're doing this and that. And then before you know it, they're in a relationship. They never had the whole dating process. They went from meeting into a bar to having sex to dating, or just to the next person meeting in a bar having sex. And here's the thing, girls, if you if you give it up to a guy that easy, he has no motivation to be anything but who he really is, a dick. You know, most likely. Why is he going to be all nice and chivalrous and take you out on dates if you're just going to give him what he wants right off the bat? You know, guys are dicks that way. So, anyway, I think this is about time to wrap this up, so... There's a lot more on that subject I was just talking about, but I'm running out of time. Bye.